Off the eastern coast of Mumbai, at Sion lies, of open land, the Somaya Ground, a location ideal for this international summit. It was indeed a gigantic endeavour, building a magnificent setup for the proposed event virtually from scratch. Skilled and dedicated workers, technicians, set and decor specialists, art directors, visualizers and designers, among others, worked round the clock to transform the calm environs of the location into a global kaleidoscopic landscape for promoting Islam and peace. For the safety and security of all present at the venue, a meticulously planned security system was in place adequately manned and monitored with state-of-the-art equipment and technology. For understanding and appreciating Islam at the Peace Conference, a permanent 10-day exhibition on Islam was featured in air-conditioned pavilions, having over 400 panels on Islamic faith and tenets with references from the glorious Quran and Hadith, as well as 50 model displays on Islam. This was the largest Islamic conference of its kind in the history of Islamic world with a spacious venue of over 35 acres. Audiences attending in hundreds of thousands to witness the 10-day conference and exhibition and professional recording for television of the event from the first to the last day. The best selected English-speaking Islamic scholars and orators of international stature came together on one platform. The tone of the conference was set with brief inaugural speeches by Abdul Rahim Green, UK, Yasir Fazaga, USA, Salim Al Amri, UAE, Asim Al Hakim, Saudi Arabia, Yusuf Estes, USA, Yasir Qadri, USA, Hussein Yi, Malaysia, Farik Naik, India, Dr. Jamal Badavi, Canada, Yahya Ibrahim, Australia, Arib Islam, South Africa, Saeed Rahe, Somalia, Dr. Lawrence Brown, USA, Dr. Jafar Idris, Sudan, Dr. Mamdouh Muhammad, USA, Haytham Al Haddad, UK, Dr. Zaglal Al Najjar, Egypt, Dr. Ahmad Ibn Saifuddin, Saudi Arabia, Abdul Rahim McCarthy, USA, Yusuf Idris, Sudan, Abdul Bari Yahya, USA, Jimmy Jones, USA, Amar Amanet, USA, James Yi, USA, Adhar Khan, India, and Dr. Zakir Naik, India. Dr. Zakir Naik, the illustrious and world-renowned scholar on Islam and comparative religion, has long been committed to the noble purpose of spreading the word of Islam. His style of oratory bears an uncanny resemblance to his mentor and the person who has influenced him most in making Dawa his passion for life, Sheikh Ahmad Didat. And remembering the person who changed my life towards peace, the person who changed me from the doctor of the body to the doctor of the soul, if none other than late Sheikh Ahmed Didat. To avoid monotony and add grandeur to the presentations, the color, design and appearance of more than 12,000 square foot huge open-air stage sets as well as the indoor stage with state-of-the-art intelligent lighting and props were modified every day. This maintained the liveliness and interest both in the proceedings and amongst the audience. The much-awaited speech by Dr. Zakir Naik on Is the Quran God's Word? Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ludovic Bonilla. 
I am French. My name is Sarah. I graduated in America. Jesus is spiritually the son of God. I'm Dr. Pooja Arora. I'm from Sign Hospital. I'm a physiotherapist. God can't be partial. If Quran helps a Hindu to know this enlightenment, it is fabulous. If this message is reached to Hinduism, you have won it. Uh, Mr. Naik, uh, this is myself, Dr. Surya Kant Pawar from St. George Hospital. Chastity, I'm an American student studying culture and theology. I'm Namita. If Islam is truly the way of life, then why are people taking so long in realizing and accepting it. You ask me the question, I'll ask you the same question. Then what is taking you so much time to accept the truth, sister? With your blessing, I accept Islam and repeat the kalma. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasul Allah. Highly influenced and spellbound by the righteous and novel message of the conference, many people embraced Islam and reverted to their true faith. Rakit Naik, I wish I can be 1% like him. The delegates' lounge was a comfortable and cozy space for the invited international speakers to relax, deliberate, share and interact with each other. It provided an apt ambience for the honored guests and speakers to network and socialize. For the comfort of the audience who attended the morning and afternoon lecture sessions, a special air-conditioned hall was constructed over an acre of land, which had a cooling capacity of over 1,200 tons. Criticizing the biased propaganda bombarded against Islam in the international media, 15-year-old Farid Naik, Son of Dr. Zakir Naik, with reason, logic and science, gave apt answers to the 20 most common questions about Islam that troubled the minds of non-Muslims. Farik, son of Dr. Zakir Naik, was the prodigy, promising and dynamic speaker at the 10-day event, a feast in oratory for the audience. Quoting references from the glorious Quran and authentic Hadith and various other scriptures, any human being to point out a single fundamental of Islam which is against humanity as a whole. The needs of children were also taken care of and there was a special play area with games arranged for their recreation. British Islamic Nasheed vocalist Abdullah Rohl performed soulful numbers in praise of the tenets of Islam holding the audience captive to his mellifluous skills. There were no musical instruments used in the Nasheed performances. There's not a mother in this world who wouldn't be happy to have a home for her family. Hundreds of thousands of people thronged the open air ground for the Jumma Khutbah and Salah led by Sheikh Saud Ashram, eminent Imam of Masjid Al Haram, Makkah Al Mukarramah, who kindly acceded to the request of King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia and Dr. Zakir Naik at a short notice of only a day to arrive in time by a VIP Royal Court jet flight in Mumbai on Friday, 29th October itself to lead the mammoth gathering for the Jummah Salah. Ashadu, Ashadu, Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illallah, Illallah, Wa Ashadu, Wa Ashadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Abduhu, Abduhu, Wa Rasuluhu, Wa Rasuluhu. For the grand finale, the last speech by Dr. Zakir Naik. Covering every space on the ground, this sea of humanity of hundreds of thousands of people jostled in the vast Somaya grounds to listen to Dr. Zakir Naik's introspective, dynamic and soul-searching talk on what is the purpose of our life. My name is Ashadu, 
Ashadu Allah Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Illallah Wa Ashadu Wa Ashadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasuluhu Wa Rasuluhu MashaAllah, you have been a Muslim. Thank you. My name is Santosh Singh. I want to accept Islam. My name is Isha. I am a Hindu background. I am a Muslim. I am a Muslim. There are five children who have to take the Shahada. On this microphone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aunt. Aunt, one and five. MashaAllah, two have been. So, ten and five, fifteen. आप पे कौन भी जोर जबरदस्ती कर रहा है इस्लाम कबूल करने के लिए नहीं कोई भी आप पे दबाव डाल रहा है नहीं सब लोगों को साथ में मैं कलमा पढ़ाऊंगा इंशाअल्लाह अल्लाह ने आपको हिदायत दी है आप इसको धोराइए अशदु अल्लाह अशदु अल्लाह इलाहा इलाहा इल्लाल्लाह इल्लाल्लाह व अशदु अशदु अन्ना अन्ना मोहम्मद आप सब की जिद्दोजहद को कबूल करना है।